So, let's recap on what we did last week. So again, you had all the same stuff. From Z guard, Nishi half guard. So again, we went here, do a quick detail. Tara's right leg, it's in between my legs. Sometimes, real basic ways, just like the triangle on your legs. This is not ideal for me, because Carl's weight is on me. Maybe he makes a cross face and an underhook. This sucks. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna use this hand to bridge Carl this way. Swim inside, put the scoop out, and put my knee shield in. So again, we talked about um, box principle, putting road blocks in front of Carl's hips and shoulders. Two hips, two shoulders. So my right knee is in his left hip. My left foot is in his other hip, my other knee is in his right shoulder, and I'll bring this hand across. So, um, Charles trying to put pressure on me, okay, I can kind of take his weight. So, from this position, the Trinity was basically sitting up, okay, so from here I kick up, get to this position, and I can start to work all this weeks and stuff. But that stems from the fact of trying to win this underhook. But if Carl has gained from this position and, I, and closes that down, we looked at last week's move, which was underhooking the other side here. Okay. Now, again, good players keep the right foot tucked so I can't get the, the windshield wiper in or the leech hook in. So I can use my right foot to push this leg out to get the hook in. I have to dig for it. From there, I'm coming to my knees. Just taking them over. Yeah. But Carl can close that down by posting his leg up. So again, from our knee sheet half guard, he's closed the avenue down. So when I come up and I win the underhook, first thing I need is the control of his hips. So my right foot pushes, even if it's tucked way in here, I'll use my right foot to push it out, and then I'll dig. You have to dig with your heel to really get that hook in here. Okay. So from there. My goal is to get to my knees, so I'm on my right elbow, I've made a frame. As I withdraw my right elbow and I'm up to my knees, and I'm about to go, use my hips to sweep into his back, try to post that leg out, okay? So I still keep this grip, okay, on the back of his knee, and I'm just dropping onto my right shoulder and rolling under car. So I get my head out the back. Okay, so be careful here, guys. You've got a really heavy knee twist here. So my left knee trick's still in. And I'm curling this back towards my butt. Um, but we'll just keep it for control, not a submission. So I'll just curl for control. I'm going to use my right foot to hip escape on my left side as I get my left elbow to the mat. The second I get my left elbow to the mat, I'm coming to my knees here. Again, it depends. If car is turtled, we're back into the back attack. So again, my loose hook's still in. I can put my knee in the space. Lock harness control, and when I tilt them, I want to get my bottom hook in and back into that back attack position. Okay? Sometimes he won't escape to his knees, and you'll end up on the side control top, and then you might have to take it back from there. So, again, from the knee seat half guard, I want to be putting my road frames or my road blocks in front of his hips. Knee, foot, knee, hand. Try to win that underhook. Guard closes it down. So, I'm coming up to the far leg, using my foot to create the space to dig in for the leech hook. So I'll wiggle it in, and then I come up to my knees. But now immediately, he posts this leg on the mat, so it's, it's um, impossible for me to come this way. So now I'm coming under. So I just roll, on, um, roll over my right shoulder, and I bring my head behind his leg, and the detail is, I curl my, my heel back. So this leech hook's in the whole time. Just curl for control, not for submission. So I'm on my right side. I'm going to start hip escaping to my left side. Sorry, bro. <laughs> and from there, I'm bringing my elbow back. Okay. Again, if Carl stays in this position, I'm taking this back. So, depending on what you did, bro. So, go here. Nice. We end up on your side. Okay. Most of the people that end up here. So, from here. Once I get to my knees, my right hand's coming over the shoulder, and my left elbow is corralling his hip. Okay, so from here, Carl will want the turtle. Although he turtled before we got there. So as he does, I try to turtle with my right hook's already coming underneath. 
I'm not a moment back. If you can get there before that, that's cool. So, again, one more time. I'm going to see the half guard so I can keep that loose. So, I'm trying to win the underhook. He closes it down. So, I'm coming up the far side. Switching my leech hook. From here to here. Hey, down. And now, I come to my knees. And I'm looking to hit last week's move. Once this leg comes up, I'm coming underneath him. And there's a load of space here for me to roll under. So, my left hand just controls. All I want to do is get my head at the back of the knee and kind of keep my left leech hook in. So I roll over my shoulder and I end up here, I'm not too so far. Here, nice. So I end up in this position. So now I'm hip escaping towards my left and I'm getting my left elbow from out. Just hold on to the side. Nice. So we end up here and I still have this hook in. Okay. So from here, my right hand's going to control the shoulder. I take out the underhook and replace it here. As I start to move up his back, he can't turn into me, but as he turns away, I want it back. Does that make sense? Let's do that again. From the knees. Yeah. Come up. In the lead hook. Come up. From the knees. He pulls his leg. I'll come on the knees. So from here, okay, elbow down. As I come to my knees, I take the hook out and come up on top and split the legs. So this hand's coming over the shoulder. I take out my underhook, put in front of his elbow, his hip. So from here, no way he can turn into me because my sternum's in his shoulder. As he turns away, I'm slowing that process down. See, when my hips are his hip, first hooks are already in. I just tilt them. Post around that. Okay, there we go.